Hi there, this is Prof. Johan from the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Pretoria. Welcome to my series on the Introduction to Chemical Engineering and Chemical Engineering Principles. In today's video lecture, I want to talk to you guys about slurries and solutions and how we handle them in mass balances. Here we have a system with liquids and solids coming in together. Let's say the solids is in the solid phase. We then refer to this as a slurry. If I pump the slurry through a filter system, then we're going to have clean liquid coming out the bottom and a wet filter cake left on the top of the filter, with the filter cake being made up out of the liquid and the solid. Let's now take a second one of these systems. In this case, the liquids and the solids are again presented to the filter, but the solids is dissolved in the liquid, making it a solution. If I'm going to pass this through the filter, nothing will end up going through the top. And the solution passing through the filter cloth coming out the bottom containing both the solids in solution and the liquid. Let's now take another example of the system, but as a combination. A mixture of a slurry and a solution is fed to the filter, passing through the filter, leaving a filter cake at the top. The filter cake is made up out of the solids and is wet with the solution with the solution being made up out of the solids that's dissolved and the liquid. And the same for the solution passing through the bottom of the filter press. Now typically the wet filter cake will be dried to get rid of all the moisture. Let's look at an example like this. In this example, a crystallized salt water solution is pumped through the filter. With 250 grams per liter of solid sodium chloride crystals in the feed 100 grams per liter sodium chloride aqueous form in the feed made up with water. The solution from the filter press is called the mother liquor and made up of the same concentration of sodium chloride dissolved in the water with the wet filter cake from the filter containing 15% water. The wet filter cake is dried in a dryer. Thus all the sodium chloride fed to the dryer leaves the dryer as solid sodium chloride. This implies that even the aqueous sodium chloride leaves the sodium chloride solids. The wet filter cake is made up out of the sodium chloride solids which came into the system and solution which is stuck to the solid filter cake containing sodium chloride in aqueous form and water. All information is now on the diagram. Let's add one or two things that we know. Let's use the density of water as one kilogram per liter and the concentration fed to the system as expressed in gram of the solid per liter water. Let's choose a base as 100 kilograms water in, which will be the same as 100 liters of water in. Let's solve the mass balance and work out what and how much is going where. First, we can calculate the amount of sodium chloride solids coming into the system and leaving in the filter cake. 250 grams per liter of sodium chloride solids is coming in, with 100 liters of water being fed, being equals to 25 kilograms sodium chloride solids. And this is also the same amount of sodium chloride solids in the filter cake. And the filter cake is wet with 15% water, but it's not just water in the filter cake. It must be the solution in the filter cake wetting it which means that there should also be 100 grams per liter of sodium chloride in the aqueous form for the 15% water going out. We can use this to calculate the amount of water and the amount of the aqueous sodium chloride leaving in the filter cake. With 15% of the filter cake being water, calculated in this way. But we also know the amount of sodium chloride in the aqueous form because the concentration of the sodium chloride aqueous form in the water leaving with the filter cake must be the same as being fed to the filter. Like I said before, a split, nothing changes to the concentration of the species. And substituting the concentration of the sodium chloride in the aqueous form for the water leaving with the filter cake, we get this equation. And after manipulation, and that's 4,49 kilograms water leaving with the filter cake. And from this, we can calculate the amount of sodium chloride in the aqueous form in the filter cake as well. And as calculating 0 0.449 kilograms of sodium chloride in the aqueous form leaving with the filter cake. 
Ironically, this is all we need to calculate to solve the complete mass balance. Let's go back to the diagram. We now know that 4,49 kilograms water is leaving the dryer, which came from the filter cake. And thus 100 minus that value will be equal to 95.51 kilogram water leaving with the mother liquor. The amount of sodium chloride leaving the dryer will be the 25 kilograms coming in with the wet filter cake plus the additional 0 0.449 kilograms that came in with the solution that wetted the filter cake. Remember, once we dry that filter cake, the sodium chloride that is in the aqueous form is not going to go out with the water from the dryer. It's going to form a solid as well and go out with the solids leaving the dryer. We can now calculate the amount of sodium chloride that came in. We know that 25 kilograms leaving the wet filter cake as the solid sodium chloride came in. And we know that by using the concentrations in and 100 liter of water in, we can calculate the amount of sodium chloride as solids and in the aqueous form entering the system. Using this, we can calculate our final value, which is the amount of sodium chloride leaving with the mother liquor as aqueous sodium chloride. And the mass balance is solved. I really hope this example was useful. Spend some time redoing it. Until next time.